It's just uh There we go. There we go. What time is it? Not time yet. It's two o'clock. Hey, everybody. Are you out there? Ah, Alan Brooks, you're the first man on today. It's the first time I've been able to look at the, uh, the, the people coming in. Hey, hey, it's my pleasure to do this on a Friday. It's the only gig I have, and uh, I'm really glad to have it and be able to play for you folks. Um, today is... Uh, July the 17th, if you're wondering, if it matters. And um, today is also the kickoff for the spirit of Gray Fox up there in, uh, up in, uh, at the Gray Fox campgrounds. They're bare right now. There's no one sitting up there. Maybe they're sitting up there. Maybe, you know, we should have put a screen up there and some spacing, you know, some correct spacing or something. But, uh, you know, people will have something to say about that later. See, I knew they would. But uh, I put up a thing a, a couple of days ago. Uh, it was uh, Chris Thiele and, uh, and Byron House and myself playing uh, as fast as we could play, playing uh, Push Too Far for uh, an audience that we couldn't see. It was like looking through a Christmas tinsel to the audience. We couldn't tell if they were even there or not. Uh, but uh, we played, it was so much fun to play, and I'd yell, are you there? And they would yell back, yeah! So this is, this is the weekend, this is for the spirit of Gray Fox, we're doing this, and I, I just introduced Sam Bush over there. So give me 20 or 30 minutes, and I'll, I'll get you right back to Sam Bush. But uh, hey, we'll have fun here. We always do. <laughs>
Panhandle rag for you there, people. How are you liking this so far? Oh, oh, thank, thank you so much. Uh, I do appreciate it. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, this guitar, doing, playing a couple of different guitars today. This guitar is very cool. Uh, Michael, uh, Rob Ikes turned me on to this, this builder. Uh, his name is Roman uh, Sajacek, uh, in uh, over in Prague. And he built this guitar, and, and, and it's a lot of like a Jusak basses that uh, were uh, angled up here at this at this forward forward bout. There's a slant, just like a Jusak bass, and uh, you can see the, where the where the bend is there. But uh, this is this guitar is made all out of, of pearwood. It's a really sweet sounding guitar, and we used it just a little bit. Uh, I guess no wait. I didn't have this one yet. We used Rob's a little bit on three bells for on one of the tunes, but we both liked it. And I got in touch with Roman and said, man, I love your guitars. And this thing showed up and I love it. So I, I play this one quite a bit these days. What are we playing next? Uh, oh, okay. We're going to play a, a song. I'm going to repeat a song. This is the first time I've repeated a song that I know of. Uh, this is a guitar. It's made by a fellow named Mike Trace up in Ohio. It's a, it's sort of a, I guess it's a, it's a, it's a baritone sized Weisenborn guitar with a false back. It's got a false back and you can see through this slit right here, there's a, there's another back to the guitar is actually in there and this is an extra chamber on the, on the outside of the the back of the guitar so it pretty cool sound huh heard from Mike a couple times this week Monday, I was arrested. On Tuesday, I was locked up in jail. On a Wednesday, I was attested. On Thursday, nobody would go by bed. Now I'm on, almost done. Yeah. I'm around my shoulders take these chains these chains from around my legs yeah these stripes they sure don't worry me but these pain these chains are gonna give me dead now I'm almost done yeah I'm on I almost And I ain't gonna bring them the yellow women or bear. Friday, my baby went a walking 
On Saturday, she locked me out of that door. On a Sunday, we sat down talking. On Monday, she pawned all the pockets. so much. Thank you, Mike, for building this wonder, wonderful guitar. It's made out of persimmon, this guitar. It's an amazing guitar. I like this guitar. More guitars. You know, it's about time to thin the herd, probably. I don't have a uh, hundred guitars, but some are like a hundred. <laughs> This is a Rayco guitar. Beautiful, huh? A lot of, a lot of really gnarly maple in there, and uh, it's really, it's quilted. It's beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, and I got this in, uh, I got this in the '90s uh, while I was playing up at, uh, I was at the Edmonton Folk Festival, and uh, the Rayco people were there, and gave me this really fine guitar. And I used this guitar in. Um, uh, an Acus video, um, I think that was Goodbye is All We Have. I think that was the name of the song. I may be paraphrasing, uh, messing up the name a little bit. But uh, yeah, I, I forgot my pick bag, so I didn't have any finger picks, and I used one of the bus drivers had a big spark plug uh, socket. I used that, and nobody seemed to know. Nobody mattered. It didn't matter. I got thrown around in the back of a truck with uh, Ron Block most of the day. But uh, Dan got to ride a motorcycle, and Gary and uh, Barry got to ride uh, in a nice uh, about a 1965 GTO convertible, black. Hmm. There was some envy going on. Allison didn't get to ride anything, but her name was in big letters. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to play this guitar for you. Everything's sounding good out there. We're trying a little, uh, a new, a new uh, custom outfit out today. Just out, just you know, all the people out there in tech world, they're working hard every day to try to get you better equipment. And uh, and this one, uh, my my uh, my hats off, my hats off to those people who uh, who invent such incredible things. Thanks a lot for that. Uh, so, uh, play just a little bit of something on this guitar.
into my head but that's part of it anyway great sounding guitar though I love this thing um, now um, this is a special day special day out there for a whole lot of people and and we're uh, since uh, uh, spirit of gray fox is also uh, their big uh, the people they're giving money to today uh, is the the IBMA uh, trust fund the COVID relief trust fund and we think that that's that's probably the best thing going right now you know musicians musicians aren't making anything right now there are no gigs there are no gigs we're not going to be showing up uh, a lot of people are doing what they call drive-ins but uh, I don't know if that's working out yet yeah it's sort of uh, still a, a, a test animal uh, I know a lot of people are going but I don't know how happy they are about it well let me know I'll do one. I, I've, I've, I'm, it won't be the first time I stood on top of a, of a drive-in movie theater uh, <laughs> projection booth. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> let's see. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try a song. Uh, I'm gonna try a song called uh, "Shoulder to Shoulder." <laughs> This is a song that's uh, the theme song for the IBMA that I wrote along with Mark Schatz uh, a lot of years ago, um, right when, uh, well, when they were big enough to need a theme song. So uh, we wrote this song, and you hear it way too many times uh, during the uh, award ceremonies and things like that. So maybe play a little bit of that for you. And uh, you know, it goes. Thank you. A um, friend of mine, uh, uh, a really good friend of mine, is having a birthday tomorrow, and his name is Ricky Skaggs. So everybody, don't forget, tomorrow's Ricky Skaggs' birthday. Uh, you know, you can uh, you can send him a letter. You can uh, uh, send him a package, put a chicken in it, and uh, send him a package, and uh, hopefully the chicken will make it to his house. That'd be nice. If it doesn't, 
sorry. But uh, Ricky, a whole bunch of chickens coming at you, pal. Uh, <laughs> but Ricky, <laughs> Ricky and I have known each other since, uh, oh, wow, 1971 or two. And then we were in the Country Gentleman together in 1973 when I joined that band. And uh, so we, there's a little water under the bridge there, wouldn't you say? Um, yeah, it's been a good time. It's been a good time. Uh, so I'm going to conclude today. Don't forget to watch, uh, get over to, uh, what's the, what's the, uh, it's uh, Nugs. Dot TV. Nugs. Dot TV. And uh, you can watch, uh, you can watch all of the, a good bit of lot there's a lot of live stuff in the the gray fox spirit of gray fox uh, i did a i did a, a special thing up here with uh two really really great musicians young musicians uh, my friends uh gary and uma peters and, and gary's 13 plays guitar fiddle mandolin everything he's just a whiz kid he's amazing sings writing songs and his sister uma plays the claw hammer banjo and they're nuts. They just go crazy. And we did a thing that I think that I introduce everybody. I like to bring everybody out of their campers tomorrow around one o'clock in the afternoon, which is the, uh, uh, the Gray Fox way. Uh, I've been there when there were, it rained so hard you couldn't see, but people stuck. I mean, it's one of these festivals that everybody goes to and they're going to be there no matter what happens. It's, uh, uh, they're devoted to the festival and and the people that uh, Mary Daub and Mary Burdett uh, and Claire they they're they're completely down with uh, making giving you the best possible experience festival experience you could you can have and uh, I love going there been going there since way before it was Gray Fox or Winterhawk or any of those things uh, and uh, I'll go into some of the dirty details one of these days about uh, a contest that Boone Creek and uh, Newgrass Revival had there, probably the first year, but uh, ooh, I can't really tell you right now. I have to tell you next week, after this is all over. But uh, so thanks for coming, coming over and seeing me today, and uh, I'll be turning you back loose to, to Sam Bush here in a second. My buddy, he's, he's down the street down here probably watching himself, and, but I'm sending daggers through through the the worldwide interweb and and he's seeing little uh sparks on his screen that you don't see just because he's sam bush he can do that kind of thing but uh play this one more amazing grace this is for our country